you can see the smoke from space. That's how big wildfires can get. And each year, they're getting bigger and lasting longer. Parts of the country have been swallowed by wildfires. Climate change is making these events more extreme. They're being driven by high winds, high temperatures, and a pervasive drought. Science has predicted it. Now, each summer, we are living it and dying from it. That's really bad news, not only for forests and for the climate, but also for our health. Because wildfire smoke is toxic. So with scenes like this becoming more and more common around the world, it begs the question, when the fires burn and the smoke rolls in, how do we make sure that everybody can breathe? Millions of people around the world live in areas prone to wildfires, and many of them don't even have access to ventilated safe spaces, like here in Kalimantan, Indonesia. The fires destroy the forests and the land. It's like destroying our homeland, right? Emanuela Shinta has witnessed a devastation from these fires for most of her life. But recently, they've gotten worse. In 2015, that's the beginning of the massive fires happened in Kalimantan. 800 hotspots have been detected throughout the islands, with the bulk of them in West Kalimantan, Central Kalimantan, and Riau. At the time, the sky was dark, yellow, and everyone was left like dying, starving of the oxygen. The fires smothered much of Southeast Asia under toxic smoke. People, especially those who live in the villages, which are really close to the fire, they, they have nothing to protect themselves. The smoke in 2015 was linked to over 100,000 premature deaths in the region and caused over half a million people to suffer from respiratory problems. Breathing wildfire smoke has been compared to smoking upwards of seven cigarettes a day, perhaps even worse. <coughs> so we wanted to get a better sense of what actually happens to your body when you breathe in this wildfire smoke. The potential health impacts are respiratory diseases, cardiovascular effect, eye and skin irritation, aggravation of pre-existing condition, and of course, long-term health risk. Turns out, it's the size of the particles in the smoke that actually matters for your health. The smaller the particles, the deeper they can go into your body when you breathe them in. Most important here are what's known as PM2.5. PM2.5 refers to a particle meter with a diameter of 2.5 micrometer or smaller. These fine particles can penetrate deep into the respiratory system. From there, they can even enter your bloodstream, affecting your heart and even your brain. And these tiny, dangerous particles make up 90% of wildfire smoke. So what can we do to protect ourselves? Of course, protecting oneself from wildfire smoke is crucial. Just stay informed and stay indoors, limit outdoor activities, and use the proper mask of N95. But in places like Kalimantan, many people don't even have access to ventilated indoor spaces and N95 masks. The most affected is vulnerable groups such as like babies, children, elders, and people with respiratory problems. They had nowhere to hide. They didn't have oxygen. Well, it's the most essential thing for us to stay alive. This is what's happening in Kalimantan right Right now, we have over 2,000 fire spots. It's hundreds of hectares burning just this afternoon. Emanuela felt compelled to do something about that. So in 2016, she formed Youth Act Kalimantan, a team of young indigenous volunteers committed to protecting their communities from the fires and the smoke. They got to work pulling on limited resources to reduce the impact on public health. We train volunteers as a firefighter so they can help to extinguish the fire before it spread. As an act of prevention also, we educated people. We visited the villages to deliver the medicines and bring the doctors as well to help the people. We also built the health shelters and we run this uh, relief effort whenever the fires hit. So thanks to the efforts of Youth Act Kalimantan, some of the most vulnerable people under the smoke can breathe again. That's my responsibility, that's my role. We are the guardians of the forest, we are the guardians of our home island, right? If not us, then who? Youth Act Kalimantan faces an uphill battle. Wildfires are a public health issue, and climate change is making them worse. We need to think not only about protecting our homes, biodiversity, and forests, but our ability to breathe clean air.